Hi everybody! So far we've created a scene and added some textures and some sprites to it. Next we are going to create some basic physics. In order to create some basic physics we have to add a rigid body 2D. Make sure we pick a rigid body 2D and not a regular rigid body. One easy way to tell the difference between 2D objects and 3D objects is that the 2D objects are blue. The 3D objects are red. We're going to move this rigid body up so that it's a child of the root node. And we're going to rename it to body ball. This is going to be the body of the ball. Here we have an information warning. This node has no children shapes, so it can't interact with the space. We have to add a collision shape. Click on the plus and add a two-dimensional collision shape. Collision shape 2D. Here we have another information warning. First let's rename the shape to shape I like to add a certain amount of uh, consistency to the way I name the node so that other people who edit this can easily get an overview of what's going on. Next let's add a shape. We're going to add a circle and we're going to zoom in. I want to move the ball up behind the shape. So the ball sprite is now a child of the ball rigid body and the shape is also a child of the ball rigid body. But the ball is on top so that means it's behind the shape. Now I can see the shape easily, that's this transparent blue circle and I'm going to resize it. When I test it, I see that the ball falls down. Let's have a closer look at the properties of the, of the body of the ball. You see we have a mass, a weight, a bounce, a gravity scale. We can change all these properties, the, which affects the way that the ball moves. Next, let's rename the texture of the sprite. We're going to call it Sprite Ball. After that, let's add a static body. Instead of a rigid body 2D, let's add a static body 2D. The rigid body is affected by physics. The static body is, as the name implies, static. In other words, it stays in one place irrespective of any kind of physics. The ground, for example, is a good example of, of a static body. Let's add a shape. And the shape will be a two-dimensional collision shape. And let's add a rectangle. Let's move the shape down here. To where the robot is standing and let's resize it so that it takes up all the space on the ground and let's rename the shape to shape ground so notice that the static body on the ground has only got a shape and not a sprite let's see what happens as you see, when I press play, the ball falls, and instead of continuing to fall, it hits the ground. It might not be easy to tell where the uh, collision shapes are, so if we go to debug, we can make the collision shapes visible. And if something is happening that we don't expect, we can see if we can figure out what's causing the problem by making the collision shapes visible even when we run the game. But so long as everything is going as expected I usually keep this off. As a next step let's change the level of bounce of the ball. So I go to ball body 
and I set the bounce level. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's a bit more realistic. The basketball is bouncing now. Let's see what happens when we go down here and change the velocity. We can change the x and the y velocity. Let's set the x velocity to 100. As you can see, the ball initially moves to the right. What if I set the y velocity to negative 100? What do you think is going to happen? Let's have a look. Wow, it goes upwards initially. This is because the y-axis is facing downwards. As you can see, we can change a lot of parameters. Let's just quickly lower the friction parameter and let's add an initial velocity, an x velocity of 210 and an initial y velocity as negative 250. As you can see, the ball just flies up off the screen. With a bit of a smaller y velocity. The ball once again flies off the screen, but it's with a bit more of a shallow angle. So, thanks for watching. In the next video, we are going to do an exercise. We are going to add a collision shape for the wall. So, good luck. See you in the next exercise. Bye-bye.